Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Yet again, we are going to go over some figures that I have. These are in fact my uh, bobbleheads as well as my body knockers. Now, most of them, I think each and every one of these are solar powered. So they will rock back and forth automatically. So keep that in mind. And just so for future preferences, I do have two of everything. Now when it comes to Jason and them, what I did is I actually ordered them through Lakeside Collections. Um, I ordered like three of them on there. And then I went to Big Lots later on that year. I was last year. And I seen those figures, but I couldn't remember if they were the exact same ones or not. So I ended up buying them over there at Big Lots later on that year. I kind of find out they were actually the same. So if I had known they were at Big Lots, I wouldn't have to order it online. But it is what it is. But anyway, I just wanted to show you what i got so far when it comes to these body knockers as well as the uh, bobbleheads, okay? This is Jason Voorhees, and I believe the way it is dressed up, it is from Part 3, as he does have kind of like the green jacket a little bit. Uh, it's, they seem to be making these from Part 3, uh, which, you know, is traditional, but in the NECA figures, obviously, they got... Um, almost replicas of each of the movies there is in fact one that's coming out right now it's based on I think Jason lives I think it's part six and he's all deteriorated he's got the chains around his neck it looks very cool I will purchase that once I um, hit my uh, local comic store I might get it there or I might order it online I'm not sure yet but anyway when it becomes available because right now on Big Bad Toy Story it's in pre-order so let's just get into these guys and get familiar. This is, in fact, Jason Voorhees. All right. Now, the, the letters are just a wee bit raised. All right. And like I said, he's based off of Part 3, I believe it is, with the uh, light green jacket and gray pants. He's got a real neat look about him in that movie. And as you can see, his head's bobbling back and forth because he is a bobblehead. All right. Okay. You can take these things apart, okay? I don't know why you would do that, but anyway. Interesting to note. And it's got some wording. All right. But that's what these guys look like. Let's move on to the next ones here. I'm going to give you the twins, okay? I've got two of everything. Now we're going to get into these body knockers based on Sam for Trick or Treat Studios. Oh, not Studios. All right, but anyway, I don't know why that switch is there, but uh, they will knock on their own without the switches. I don't know why they have them on there. I'm sure there's a reason why they did that. But anyway, this is Sam from Trick or Treat, the movie that came out in 2000. I can't remember the uh, year of the movie, but I'll tell you what, a little story about that movie. Uh, I knew it was out for the longest time, but I never bothered to watch it. And when I finally did see it, I will tell you this, it's the most Halloween slash horror movie that I've seen in a long time. It was really refreshing to see that movie. And Sam, the character in that, is based off of a short uh, film uh, from Michael Doherty, who in fact actually did the movies, uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters in 2019. That movie was okay, okay? Uh, they had some really good special effects in some scenes. But overall, the movie is flawed, but, you know, it's, it's a good movie, but not a great movie, put it that way. Michael Doherty did a good job on that movie, okay? Just keep that in mind. I'm not a big fan of the MonsterVerse Godzilla, but I do like the movies once in a while. It's refreshing to see them. Um, I'm more into the Toho versions of Godzilla because I grew up watching them, and those are always cool in my opinion. But anyway, this is Sam, okay? So... What we're going to do, as you can see, it is a body knocker, okay? Get into the head. Now, I actually was in the process of actually pre-ordering one of the Trick or Treat Studio versions of the mask. But it's the unmasked version of uh, Sam, where obviously you see his face. There's two slightly different versions. If you look closely at one of the masks, the eyes are glassy. And they're very realistic looking. And then there's another one that's not so realistic looking. That one I wouldn't order. I would actually order the one that has the eyes with the X in the eyes. And um, what it is is um, 
the more realistic because it obviously it's glassed over giving it a realistic look a little bit but anyway I was in the process of actually ordering that and then I turn around and change my mind it might be a future thing but right now I've got other masks on my mind that I actually want to order before I order Sam all right but just keep that in mind all right so all right Sam very cool character very Halloween colors okay burlap bag for the head and obviously the lollipop he does some major damage in the movie with that lollipop okay but he is more or less a regulator in the movie if you go against the Halloween rules guess what you will meet your demise okay all right but anyway it's a good movie anyway it says trick or treat okay mm -hmm. it's from the movie trick or treat now not, not trick or treat okay and again this is a NECA product as you can see all right. legendary pictures because I'm Michael Doherty okay but anyway these guys here now, when I actually ordered both of these, I actually, I'm not sure what I did. I don't know why I actually bought them. I think I ordered one online, not thinking I actually had this one here, or one of them, it don't matter. And when I actually put it up on the shelf, I realized, like, oh, shit, I got another one. All right, but anyway, I've done that before. I even did it with my, my Godzillas. I have a GMK 2001 Godzilla that I actually ordered, and then I went to, um, uh, Toys R Us at the time they were open and I seen it. I was like, uh, do I have that one? So I end up buying it and come to find out I got two of those. Okay. But anyway, bad habit. Okay. Freddy Krueger. Okay. And Freddy Krueger. Again, when I was telling you about the Lakeside Collections uh, ones, I ordered them online and then I went to Big Lots. This is part of the collection. Okay, and I think those are the only ones that I actually ordered two of each. So, it was just Jason and Freddy in that case, All right? But we will be coming up to my Pennywises and stuff, and my Michael Myers, All right? And I also got a Chucky here, guys, okay? All right, with that in mind, these are my Freddy Kruegers, okay? Again, they're solar-powered, okay? And it says... A Nightmare on Elm Street. Alright. And these are bobbleheads. Okay, as you can see, they're solar powered, but they don't have no buttons on them. The body knockers have a button on them. Maybe it just automatically, when you push it, after it's solar powered, they start going. Now, I've had these on my windowsill, and you hear them go click, 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 click. I'm like, okay. You get used to the sound after a while. But, anyways, look at this close. It's pretty cool looking. Hamburger, the fedora, traditional Christmas sweater, and obviously his hands, or his uh, claws, not his hands, okay? The Christmas sweater, these two are exactly the same, all right? All right, moving on. Let's get into Michael Myers. This is a body knocker, as you can see, it's knocking. Okay, I'm not sure where I got that from. I think I ordered it online, maybe? Or I found it in the store. I can't remember where I got this from. Most likely I ordered them. I think I did, yeah. I'm not sure, but... Anyway, Michael Myers, okay? Could be based off of the 1978 design. We don't know, but it, most likely that's what it looks like. All right. Very cool hairstyle. No. Now, when it comes to some of the Trick or Treat Studio masks, uh, people, they're so, okay, they want to get their masks absolutely perfect. And they'll buy those masks, and they're almost an exact replica because they're actually based off of the molds from the original masks. And obviously, because it's mass produced, they come with flaws, and they turn around and get them repainted. You know, it is what it is. Now, mine, I have two of them. I got a 1978 which is based on the shape and there is another 1978 which is called the boogeyman that one in fact has a little hole in the side of its neck that's the boogeyman version of the trick-or-treat studios mask I don't have that one I got the actual shape that mask is absolutely perfect in my opinion then there's the 2018 uh, version okay that one I don't know what the mold that they used it on whoever wore that absolutely had a very small head because 
when I tried to put it on my uh, head obviously that wasn't the case I couldn't I can get it on but I would literally struggle with it that's how tight it was and I didn't want to rip the latex and I just uh, buy these masks just for display purposes but I also like to try them on the 2018 version if you have a big head won't fit your head I'll tell you that it would be a real tight fit put it that way alright Michael Myers as you can see okay he is a body knocker again he has the switch Okay, solar powered. All right, Halloween. Okay, guys. And again, this is Merrimax NECA. All right. All right. Moving on to the Pennywise collection here. I'm going to put them all up on display here. Big version, little version, and we got the 19, uh, 1996 version. Okay, guys. These are my Pennywises for the body knockers as well as the, uh, the bobbleheads, okay? I got one bobblehead there, and as you can see, he's rocking back and forth. And then there's the 2017 version as well as uh, the Tim Curry version, okay? Tim Curry version is very clown-like, very cool looking. Um, the other one, uh, Bill Skarsgård's uh, version, is in fact a very horror-esque like uh, Pennywise. I prefer that because of the horror-esque version of the movie, how intense it is. And obviously the CGI in that movie is really good. <laughs> they do a fantastic job on that in both of those movies. And there's also another movie um, actually trying to come out. I'm not sure if it's in production yet or not, but they're doing a third movie based on Pennywise. Based on Bill Skarsgård's version, okay? The um, 1996 version with Tim Curry was in fact a miniseries. And I believe it aired on NBC, and it was a three-night uh, miniseries. And I got the movie and stuff like that. It's got a lot of funny humor to it, but it's not as scary as the 2017 or the 2018 version, okay? But these are my Pennywises, okay, guys? So let me just take these down so you can get a closer look at them. All right, now as you can see there. Now this one I think I also got from Lakeside Collections. It. Okay. Down on the bottom here. Shows you where you get it from. I mean, who owns the copyrights to it and stuff. Body knocker. Okay. Now I do have a uh, Toonie Tear that has uh, the 2017 version but this the actual costume is like a dark gray I don't know why they painted it dark gray when it's in fact it's actually a light gray and it just throws the color off a little bit it's not bad don't get me wrong it looks really cool as in uh, has a very cartoony feature to it but that's what they are okay but anyway these are my uh, this is a body knocker as you can see it's made from NECA NECA is famous for making a lot of these, especially if they got the copyrights. Now, unfortunately for you Godzilla fans out there, the copyrights have expired through NECA. And unfortunately, you will not be seeing no more Godzilla figures made by NECA unless they repurchase the copyrights to Godzilla, okay? Now, the one people that do have merchandising-wise, uh, Playmates, I think they got the, uh, the copyrights to Godzilla. So they've been making that in King Kong. Uh, the Godzillas in the Playmates uh, version, they're okay. They got a cheap look about them, but they're okay. They're not like a NECA figure, so keep that in mind. All right, 1996 here, guys. Tim Curry version. I also got a Toonie Terror version of this one, too, as well. Looks really cool. I like the color scheme of the uh, costume. Now, because I got a bunch of uh, Halloween masks that are based on clowns, okay, and they're usually evil, I don't have no traditional funny happy type clowns I don't have any of those but I like to get a costume and just run the streets and scare the fuck out of people <laughs> but anyway this is my um, body knocker based on the 1996 uh, Pennywise Tim Curry version last but not least Chucky okay as you can see he's got his knife also his uh, sweater or his is very Christmassy. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. But anyway, I wanted to get one of the dolls for that. One of the full live action dolls. They, 
I think NECA makes it. No, Mezco, I think, makes it. Uh, theirs is um, a semi-big uh, doll, not a full-size um, good guy doll. It's not like that. Uh, but that was like $150 for that one, too. But it was nice and realistic. It was based off of um, the Seed of Chucky, I think it was, with all the scars on his face. Very cool looking. Still thinking about getting that, but, you know, like I said, I don't, I'm not locked into it. Uh, but I wanted to get a full-size Chucky doll as well as the Annabelle's. But unfortunately, they're running anywhere from $300 to almost $600 a pop. And I was like, eh, I'm not spending that kind of money for a doll. Nope, not going to do it. All right, Chucky. Okay. Again, solar-powered. Okay, sorry about that. And on the bottom here, Universal Studios. Okay. They also got the TV series based on Chucky out there. Um, it's on sci-fi. I don't have cable. My wife does, but I don't. So somehow I'm going to have to find a way to actually watch it on my computer. If I can. I don't know if I can or not, but I'll, I'll try. Uh, based on the new TV series, I'm going to check that out. Okay. But anyway, that's it on my collection here of my body knockers as well as the uh, bobbleheads. Hope you guys liked this and enjoyed this. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because now I'm going to get into my NECA figures based on the Xenomorphs as well as my Predators and other horror figures. We're going to get into those next. In the meantime, this is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.